travel in the world to find you the best places to see, food to eat, and drinks to sip. This time, we're in Barcelona. Over three days, we enjoyed getting lost in the little streets of Barcelona, and we found some incredible places that you have to go to. So sit back and find out more. which is an awesome tapas restaurant in Barcelona that you have to go to. Just look at what we're about to eat. Cheers. When you come to Barcelona, there's a few sites that you have to see. One of them is Sagrada Familia. Now you do have to book tickets, so today we're just admiring it from the outside. What do you know about it? Gaudi designed it in 1882 and they're still building it now. Brilliant. They're, trying, they're trying to replicate his original designs. So they're doing a good job. Can we just say here thank you Liam for his key bullet points before this video. Thank you Liam. <laughs> After a spot of sightseeing we wanted to see the city with a bird's eye view, so we went to the Kimpton Hotel to discover their rooftop bar, and they offer a Sunday brunch. Not a bad way to start the day. Of course, the beauty of Barcelona is that you can enjoy the city and the beach. So next, we went straight down to the seafront to see what was happening. There's plenty of bars and restaurants, and even a casino. And it's only a 15 minute walk from La Rambla. Another thing that you have to do in Barcelona is visit the world's best cocktail bar. And yes, Paradiso has been named the world's best cocktail bar. But what you have to do is get here at four o'clock, scan the QR code, just there and then they'll give you a time to come and enjoy your cocktails. So we've been given an hour and a half so we're going to go back to the hotel, get freshened up and come Everyone, everyone else. Train station right here. Choo choo. <laughs> Our twist on espresso martini on the. cocktail is pirated to a discovery of the technology. And just around the corner was Mariposa Negra, where we found an absolutely delicious espresso martini. Down every alleyway you'll discover something new and this time we found Dr. Stravinsky cocktail bar. 
Now, to be honest, it was a fab bar, but the cocktails here were a little bit too strong for our liking. So after indulging in a few cocktails, you need to get some food. And Rooster and Bubbles was a hidden gem with the best patatas bravas I've ever had. When you're totally full to the brim but fancy a light dinner we found antique bacau i think that's how you pronounce it but this place is famous for its mediterranean flatbreads i'm going to put all the links to all of these restaurants and bars in the comments so if you want to find them head straight there barcelona is high on my recommendation list and a must visit for foodies for now I'm going to go home and lose a few pounds, but I will definitely be back. There's plenty more to see here. Please subscribe and like the video.